welcome to the show. This is Your Schools on Community 7 TV, and I'm your host, Diane Parker. We are here with Caleb Hamler, and he is a student at Skyview High School. We are talking a little bit about career pathways, career technical education, and Caleb is a senior, and you are focusing on your career pathway in finance, business management, really trying to find out what you're interested in after you graduate from high school. I know you have a lot going on. You mentioned that you're enrolled in the Marines right now. Tell us a little bit about you, your background, and how you got to where we are today with CTE. Yeah, so um, I didn't really know anything about business coming into high school, as most kids probably don't. Um, I took a couple um, business courses, and then sophomore year I took business in the 406, and that kind of introduced me to entrepreneurship and kind of the process that follows. So, And we did a, we had a kind of a project. We just set up a company and actually do something with it and create. And so we did that and we sold and I saw the actual money coming in and that kind of like sparked kind of like a passion for business, I guess. And then from there, I just kind of, um, kind of went with it. And then right into uh, software, we had the national lockdown. Um, my buddy of mine invest, or, uh, interest, or uh, ooh, excuse me, um, introduced me to investing and things like that. So it's just kind of snowballed and it's just it's really interesting to me okay very interesting and so the investing i understand you have a partnership that you're going to be doing soon to learn a little bit more about that right tell us about that yeah so for this spring um i'm set to um, start an internship with buchanan capital um, and potentially valley uh, federal credit union that's still kind of shaky we're not entirely sure but that's the plan Okay, and that's the great thing about CTE is that there are so many options. If you even scroll through the website that they have, there's a lot of career pathways. There's a lot of job opportunities. And so there's so many options. Like you said, you have a couple in front of you right now. It'll really come down to probably what you decide and what interests you. But we want to thank the business community out there because without their partnerships, um, this wouldn't be there wouldn't be as many opportunities for the students here today. So I know you're also in Business Professionals of America, and you're an officer. Tell us your role there. Yeah, so I'm the co-chair of communications, so I kind of reach out um, to the middle schools and do recruitment, things like that, um, and I mean, day-to-day meetings, things like that, kind of big picture stuff. Um, and it's, it's really rewarding. It's a really fun program to be a part of. Um, and there's a lot of networking to be done, a lot of really cool people I've met this entire time, um, starting because I only started last year. Um, but since then, it's just been, it's been really fun. Okay, so tell us a little bit about what the program is. I understand there's competitions, right? This is it's so hard to explain BPA to people that don't know about it. You know, as I didn't my first two years at Skyview, no one told me what BPA was. I knew about it, no one explained it to me. And then one of my buddies, he graduated, he told me just to do it and kind of explained it in a way that made some sense. So I, what I did was um, entrepreneurship, which is you just write up a business plan, um, write up basic financial models for it, and kind of go with it. Um, and I did that with with a real estate firm, and it I did really well. I took second at state and qualified for nationals, and that whole process was a lot of fun because I met some really interesting people in the real estate world, um, and I learned a lot about business plan. How tedious it really is, um, but it was really eye opening and rewarding. Right, and you get to travel to other places. Where where was your competition at? So last year um, was my first year, and we uh, it was all remote because of COVID, obviously. So um, it was all done at Skyview here. We had to use Zoom for everything, but. Usually we travel um, for nationals. We go out of state, like Texas. I think this year we're in Houston or something like that. Sorry. Yeah. Um, and then last year was supposed to be in Florida, but because of COVID, they had to cancel. So Right. Yeah. Things, things change a little bit with COVID, but there's lots of opportunity um, for students out there in high school for travel, learning about business. Um, you can use your competitive edge. And I just think it's really cool, everything that you're doing right now um, through the CTE program. What would you say to maybe other students out there listening or maybe parents, even even parents of kids in middle school? Because I know the CTE, they start thinking about this and they, they start getting parents and kids involved even in middle school. So what would you say to them? Um, I would say join BPA. <laughs> Honestly, it's that you learn not only soft skills, but also hard skills and that kind of stuff. And it's it's just the, the knowledge you take away and the people you meet is just you can't put a price on it, you know, it's just one of those things. Um, it's a great experience, and you know, professionalism is a big deal, especially in high school, you know, we're still young, figuring all that out, but I think as we progress through, it's, uh, it's there's a lot to learn, you know. And what about some of your teachers? I know you have Molly Barda, and you also have a Skyview career coach here. How have they been able to help you? They've been incredibly, incredibly, um, there's a lot of quality, I guess. Um, they're very transparent about everything and very real about it, um, and they're very helpful. I mean, everything they've done so far, setting up internships and just kind of sparking my interest in business and things like that this whole this whole time, they've been great. 
Okay, that's wonderful to hear that there's so much support here. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to add about the business program that you're involved with? Uh, off the top of my head, I, I can't think of anything right now. Um, okay, what do you think that your life looks for you looks like for you right now? If you had a crystal ball, what would you say? What does your future look like? Um, after my Marines contract, uh, go to college at MSU and study economics is the plan. Um, and afterwards, I mean, it's kind of an open book, but I'm hoping to get into financial planning or wealth management, something along those lines. Okay, and you're really looking forward to your internships, those work opportunities as well. Yeah, yeah, that'd be really exciting. And, and again, this is networking and meeting some really cool people. And again, it's, you know, learning those soft and hard skills um, in a real job setting would be incredibly valuable. Right, and this is in high school. And I know a lot of high schools don't have opportunities like this. So the experience that you're getting, Caleb, is quite amazing. And we want to thank you so much for visiting with us today and just sharing a little bit about your story. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yep. All right. Well, we're going to check in with Molly Barda. She is one of the teachers here at Skyview High School. All right. And we're here with Molly Barda. She is a business teacher here at Skyview High School involved with the CTE program. You've been teaching for 28 years, right? Yes, I have. Okay. Tell us about your career path because I know you've made a huge impact. Well, I started 28 years ago in um, Spring Creek, Nevada. I was lucky enough to work in a brand new school there, help develop a brand new program. And I moved back home here, back to Montana, and taught at um, Billings Central, Billings West, and then I landed here at Skyview. I've been here for about 18 years. So I've been part of the Falcon family since then, and um, we have a great CTE program here between business, FCS, and tech ed. Okay, so what all do you teach here at Skyview? Well, I teach accounting one through four, business in the 406, marketing, managerial science, and computer applications. And then Mr. Haskett, my co-teacher, teaches personal finance, college advanced computer apps, and managerial science. Okay, and business in the 406, I've heard about this, but can you tell us a little bit more? What exactly is it? Okay. Business in the 406 is an entrepreneurship program um, that's in part sponsored by um, the Youth Entrepreneurs Empowered Organization. So they give us a lot of curricular support, um, some monetary support as well. And so it just allows the kids to really find their inner entrepreneur. It's lots of hands-on projects. Um, we have a kind of a partnership with the Big Sky Economic Development Agency, um, Rock 31, and the Downtown um, Billings Alliance, and. Um, we will host a pop-up market during the first Friday Christmas stroll in December. So the kids actually set up their own shop, they develop their own product that they have to market and sell, and they get to enjoy like the fruits of their labor because they get to keep any profit that they earn. Wow, that's really cool, giving the kids out there this hands-on learning experience. Okay, now I know you're also involved with the Business Professionals of America. Tell us about your role there. Um, I am one of the BPA advisors here at Skyview. I'm also on the state planning committee, so I help um, plan our state conference and competition. So I recruit about 80 um, area business people to judge all sorts of competitions in um, March. So um, it's a big part of our program here. Um, what's different about BPA is it's a co-curricular activity. It's not an extracurricular. So it basically supports our curriculum and it allows um, students to take what they learn in the classroom and apply it more in a real world situation. So. Okay, very good. And that's really one of the main goals of CTE, career technical education as well. Um, how many students do you have here at Skyview who are involved with CTE? Oh, I think we have, between the three programs, last year it was over 1,000, I believe. I was just looking at our state vocational report, so. Okay, wow, that's pretty amazing. And for our viewers out there who may not know, CTE is not just at the Career Center in Billings, it's at all of the high schools as well. And so we have great teachers like Molly who are really involved, hands-on with the students, helping them. Um, what are the students gaining out of CTE? What do you hear from them? Oh, so, so many things. It just, um, you know, we hear how important those employability skills are. And so it really helps them with that. It helps them learn those soft skills. Um, and so many industry specific skills because we have students competing in things from small business management to financial analyst team, economic research team, um, accounting, Microsoft Office events. So they really get that chance to apply those um, skills they learn in the classroom and they, they enjoy it so much. Um, I have alumni that come back all the time 
and they say that was probably the best part of their high school experience and the most helpful that helped them prepare for their careers later on. Right, that's amazing. I'm sure that feedback is wonderful to hear. So what are you finding with your students here when they graduate? Are some of them, I'm sure they're directly going right into the workforce, are some of them going to college? What are you seeing? A big variety, um, all, over the, all over the board. Um, and it really helps them no matter what they do. So it's really that c connecting um, you know, school to careers, no matter what choice that they choose. Um, so I I've seen both, and I've seen gr great payoff both ways. Okay. Um, talk to us about Caleb. I know he's one of your students. He seems like a really great success example. Tell us about Caleb and how you've been able to help. Mm -hmm. Um, Caleb has been great. He was a blank slate coming in. He didn't know a lot about business CTE. He just knew he liked, you know, he's a people person. He went, he loves the networking part. So it was nice to kind of um, help him find his passion and his interests and figure out, you know, good um, outlets for that, good ways to pursue that to help um, with, you know, his future plans. Okay, very, very good. Um, very bright student. I know he has a huge future in front of him, so I'm glad that he can be here at Skyview in the CTE program. Um, and so many other students are taking advantage of this as well. Um, maybe tell us a little bit more about how a student would get enrolled in the CTE um, and how that process works. Okay, so they, um, as middle schooler, they register for their high school classes. And what's hard is so many of them have no idea what the courses are and they end up signing up for things based on what their friends say and so you know if they can get in some of those introductory level classes you know whether it's a business an fcs a tech ed um, just you know a semester course to just come see what it is you know take our computer applications class take the first culinary class in in cooking um, things like that just so they can see they don't know what they don't know so I've had lots of kids come in and take accounting and they say, oh my gosh, I didn't even know what it was. And now today they're still accountants, you know? And so, you know, I have lots of stories like that where they just need to try those different areas, try the different areas of CTE and see what really sparks that interest. Right, okay. And tell us about what your specific areas are as far as the pathways. Um, are we talking about business management, finance? Mm -hmm. Mainly um, management, marketing, finance. Right, so most of our career, our courses fall within those pathways. Okay, so tell us a little bit about those pathways. What are, what are some more of the classes involved and the things that the students get to do? Um, well, we they can kind of complete a pathway here right at Skyview at the home school because it is difficult for some of our students to make it out the career center just because of the distance. So they, you know, if they're interested in the finance pathway, you know, they, they we guide them through what they should take each level of high school um, course wise, you know, as far as um, personal finance, accounting one through four, um, they get into some QuickBooks online, they get the opportunity to do some industry certifications to help them really hone in on those specific skills specific to that pathway. Okay, and the industry certifications, I'm sure that means a lot to the business community out there as far as the soft skills that you mentioned. What kind of feedback are you hearing from the businesses? Um, we've just recently started add, adding more certifications the last several years. Um, they, we've heard a lot from our, our business advisory board how important it is you know, for them to have some of those um, industry certifications. So. Um, you know, it's helped some of our kids get jobs. Um, it's helped them with their college classes. So we've had students get certified in Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Access, um, QuickBooks. So um, so they do all that certif certification testing right here at Skyview. Okay, that's exciting. Are some of the students um, also taking college credit through CTE? Is that part of the program? Yes, there's different college um, credit classes at the at the different high schools that they can take, like the advanced computer apps, um, intro to business, accounting, et cetera. Okay, very good. So for the parents out there listening, what would you advise them to do or just to be aware of? I would encourage your, your student to take a variety of CTE courses as a freshman and sophomore, and then maybe kind of figure out what areas they really would like to focus on as a junior and senior. And... Um, because you never know what they're going to be good at. They don't know what they don't know. They don't know what their, what where their interests and where their passions are, um, unless they're actually exposed to it. Right. Okay. And are there opportunities for parents and students to, let's say, for example, um, meet with the teachers, or if they wanted to take some classes at the career center, would they be able to tour? Are there opportunities like that, or how do they very first get involved? Um, they'd first get involved by. Um, 
through probably their eighth grade open house experience where they can come up and tour the school. Um, each department has a booth set up so they can talk to those teachers, see what courses are offered, um, get information about them. And then after that, you know, all, all the schools are very responsive. If parents want to come to, you know, set up a tour or meet with a teacher or meet with Ms. Watson, our career counselor, just to find out some of those options available. Right. And the career counselor, this isn't a position that's always been around, right? right. So what was it like before and is it helpful now to have that career counselor? Oh, it's so amazing. Um, Tammy Watson's done just an awesome job for us. Um, before she was here, for us to do an internship, you know, we had to do all the legwork, which is hard when we, you know, we have back-to-back -back classes all day and we're trying to make those contacts with business people. And so just to have her be able to set up those internships and job shadows has just been amazing. I think it's, it's giving our students so many more opportunities for those types of things beyond what we could just do before in a limit, limited capacity. Okay, and the bell's ringing. So we have school in progress here at Skyview. Things are happening, you guys. Um, I also noticed on the website for career technical education, there's just a full list of jobs available for students. So, I mean, that looks pretty amazing. It seems like CTE has true partnerships out there in the community. What do you think of those partnerships? Oh, we couldn't survive without our business partners. Um, like I said, just even judging our BPA state conference, I have 80 contacts in the business world and the support they give us through um, all the internships and job shadows and, and just mentoring. You know, I have so many people I can just shoot them an email and say, hey, you know, I have like Caleb last year, he was interested in real estate. And so we found him someone right away. And we, you know, there's just so many people so willing to help our students that, um, it's just great. Very wonderful. And the future is so bright for our students. So this is so exciting to hear from you what's going on right here at Skyview. I know what's going on at the other high schools in town. Also, um, all of the high schools have the career coach and the great resources um, from the CTE program. Mm -hmm. I have to mention, though, that you were awarded as the CTE Teacher of the Year. Was it 2017? 2017, I believe. Well, I mean, that's an amazing accomplishment. So I know that you're doing great things. Thank you. Yep, it was it was an honor to be you know recognized among your peers and you know students. So that was nice. Very good. Well, there, is there anything else that you'd like to add about CTE or any of the business programs that you're helping the students with? Uh, just I, I just really want to thank the business community um, that has shown us so, so much support over the years between our program, our advisory board, um, our BPA competitions. Um, it like we have a whole community surrounding us, you know, that I know that we can call on, it, you know, to give these students the mentor mentorship that they need, so. Okay, so if there is a business out there listening that's saying like, hey, maybe I need some interns or some employees, what should they do? Um, I would say if it's an internship type thing, um, contact Tammy Watson at Skyview or any of the career coaches at any of the home high schools. Um, if anyone's interested in judging for our Business Professionals of America organization, um, we have those competitions in March where, you know, you can contact me at Skyview, Molly Barta, and I just love making those connections and um, giving my students that opportunity to, you know, network and make these amazing connections. Okay, that's wonderful. And any, any final word for um, the students out there? Would you like to, you know, recruit anyone over to your classes? Yes, <laughs> take some business classes. Um, we've had great business students. You know, our, our future is bright when you see the students we have in our classrooms. And take some CTE courses, business, FCS, tech ed, whatever, you know, whatever your area is. But get, you know, you never know what skills you're going to obtain that might be really useful for your future. Okay, perfect. Well, Molly, we want to thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And this has been another episode of Your Schools. We'll see you next time.